Hindsight Hindsight, you mockingbird, forever sniping, if only cries, restirring grief and pain, knowing as I know there is no way of wiping the slate clean of love lost to start again. Above this old Greek town, when day is spent, a quick moon boldly speeds the sun's descent, rising to rule alone that lovers might whisper their holy secrets to the night. Here is the sky beneath which I'd rejoice, where my sweet symphonies of love ran blind, pursuing each melting cadence in the voice that haunts the darkened prison of my mind. That breeze with jasmine in it at the door, the path down which I chased her as she ran, tugs at me, lifts me far beyond the shore, back to that winter night where we began under a lamp on 52nd Street, after the shock of an abandoned meal. She stopped me, made me kiss, made our lips meet, and the unthinkable at once was real. Disarming in its weaponless surprise the grip that took my wrist and turned me round. The first time I had stared into her eyes. The first time New York traffic had no sound. Sweet girlish laughter catching like a fire, hoiden and sparkling, kindling the flame of love, eyes full of teasing and desire, and almost free from tears, which when they came struck at my heart, brought with them not just fear but dread of separation, not being near, darkening distance, felt, although unseen, cold emptiness lying like a threat between. The horror that she'd stepped from out my reach. Magnificent obsession cannot wait, deaf, heedless to the troubled minds beseech, the hasty heart flies to embrace its fate. Thirsting for reprieve in steady eyes that joys release with holy freedom's key, knowing, yet inscrutable, yet wise, they ministered to my uncertainty. Unspoken physic of a promise made that not a scratch should dim the shining blade of pregnant love in blossom flowering wide, a warming stream that nursed me in its tide. Here in the small white house beneath the pines, summerful grapes hang burdening the vines twisting like serpents at the courtyard door, where in the day's last light she'd watch the shore, still as a stone, exclusive, mild as may within her gilded cage, a world away. Cage without door, however hard I tried, I never could get at the bird inside. How often I return to this strange isle, the little house unaltered near the sea, where I can hear the night wind sing a while a little litany of her and me. The sweet south wind that shepherds birds to rest lingers beside me, stilling its warm sigh, willing the world to silent sleep that I might hear her soft voice throbbing at my breast. Her unseen hand still links itself to mine, leading me quietly by the ghostly shore. The far-off church bell halts its stroke at nine, and I am brought in silence to my door. The bed the wardrobe packed with summer days of her that spring to life before my gaze, gilding the smiling Geoconda bride who lives within me, though I'm dead outside. I never was fulfilled in anything, but down my days of eagerness to prove, there is one certain song I'm fit to sing. Love looked on me, and I have looked at love.